The Ottawa Children's Choir sings every year at Remembrance Day ceremonies at the National War Memorial. This week, their voices will rise over Vimy Ridge, the choir traveling to France for the performance of a lifetime. Eventually, they will look back on this with, and with awe and wonder uh, to see that we were able to do this. Every member of the choir has been practicing hard, knowing full well the significance of this anniversary. It's a responsibility, because it's not just a song anymore. It's, it's a legacy. The legacy of Vimy Ridge will be marked and remembered by thousands of young Canadians who will be in France to take part in this year's commemoration. More than 80 students from this high school in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia are making the trip. Uh, I think it's going to be breathtaking. I mean, like we hear about it in school and with our parents and stuff, but we're actually going to be there, so that's going to be incredible. These students from Oshawa, Ontario, have been studying the First World War and learning about the men who fought. Now, they'll see firsthand where history was made. I'm most looking forward to seeing the locations of where, where our troops fought on, because just sitting in the classroom and only seeing pictures and reading about it, it doesn't give you that immersed feel of where our troops went and stood their ground and fought for our freedom and the freedom of others. A lot of those wounded weren't able to be evacuated. And they... Making this trip more personal, many students have been researching individual Canadian soldiers who died in the First World War. They'll visit their graves during the trip to pause and reflect on their sacrifice. Maggie LaRock has been learning about Canadian Private Oscar Martin Abramson, killed in November 1917. He was a person, like really appreciating uh, his personality and like, I just feel like I know the, the soldier that I am commemorating. This trip to Vimy is about making history more real for young people. Some are taking that to a whole new level. We do our November 11th ceremony here every year. Students at this high school just outside Ottawa have for years maintained a full-scale model of a First World War trench to get a hands-on idea of what life was like for Canada's soldiers. We want them to understand what it meant to fight, to be in these wars, what our, our, our soldiers went through, what our country went through, how we became a country. As we pass along the crosses... 24 students from the school will be at Vimy this week. The school recently held a special ceremony where these students were given wooden crosses made in the school's wood shop. They too have been researching the lives of Canadians who died in the war and will place these small tributes on their graves. Coming face to face with his grave is just going to be like looking into the eyes of, of somebody from 100 years ago and just looking up and, and just saying thank you. You know, thank you for what you did. This anniversary will be a once-in-a-lifetime experience for young Canadians from coast to coast. A chance to remember men who were, in many cases, not much older than them when they fought and died a century ago. Tom Perry, CBC News, Ottawa.